scratch. I just booted up a brand new account. We've got all our base silvers and the free Joe Burrow. So a absolutely horrendous team. And although EA is EA, I'm going to put to the test just how good of a no money spent team we could build with 10 straight hours of gameplay. It is 7.30 a.m. So I've got until about 5.30 to grind this squad. I'll save all the packs. I'll save all the coins. We'll build the best team we can. Let's get into the solo challenges. Now, people are going to ask, what is the best solo challenge? I would say in general, the best solo challenges to do are the ones that have come out most recently. For example, the Harvest solos just came out. Those are going to get you the most recent best overall cards. Additionally, the Legend solos are really nice because those get you a card each time. So I definitely crank those out. But other than that, you can update this video every single time a new promo comes out. For example, when Zero Chill and the Christmas promo drops, you'll be able to go bonkers building your squad. And I know 10 hours is a lot of time, but I can't waste any of it. I'm going to start cranking out some solos. Let's get it. Well, not exactly, but 1229, we're getting there. We actually have a ton of unopened packs to go through. I can't wait for that little dopamine rush when I open all of them at once. And we've got a decent coin stack. I've still got about half these solos to do, at least for the ones that I want to knock out. So close to the finish line. I have one Thanksgiving solo left. We're up to level 16. We got 480k. I have like 100 plus packs to open. It's 522. I haven't exactly got a lot of physical activity today. Whatever. I don't touch grass, bro. I'm a true fucking gamer. I sit here for 10 straight hours and absolutely no life it for the boys. <laughs> Let's play this final solo. I gotta win the game. Can't allow more than one touchdown and a score a touchdown in the third. Sick. Now, normally I would go on the auction house and get better players to make the solos easier. But since this was the last one, I've already gone through and sold everybody so that we have the max coin count we could have at this point. So I have the default team. That's okay though, because it is still the computer. So it really shouldn't matter. I'm just gonna run two clock, get my touchdown in the third, cheese him on defense and get out of this game. There's Booper Bop. And I do need to score in the third quarter as part of this challenge, so let's just cheese him. I pretty much run verticals the entire time. The CPU defense really struggles with this. And I have no shame cheesing a computer. Down at the eight seconds. I don't know why. They just really can't cover that right there. I just, they just can't. I always go for two just because I'm greedy. There's Booper Bop. Easy. And honestly, on defense, I usually don't play. Like, I usually set my controller down and, like, go do something else because your defense will pretty much do it for you. But this is the last solo, so. And that's all she wrote. The final solo challenge complete. Oh, and I kind of cheated. Ooh, I kind of cheated. Are you guys going to be on my head about that? It's 537. Well, if you guys can forgive me for completely scamming you in the title, it was actually 10 hours and about five minutes. Let's do an overview of everything we've completed. All our unopened packs. Let's get them ripped. We'll look at the squad and we'll go from there. We do get an 80 plus overall harvest player for that 10th star right there. So we actually have 108 unopened packs. Let's get moving. So we've finished all the Thanksgiving solos that we can complete up to this point. Almost all of the legend solos. They didn't get all the stars, but I got close. Some of them were just too obnoxious and not worth my time. AKA 240 of 252. Same deal. The basic ultimate team one, obviously. We got 100 of 120 on the main Harvest solos and 100 of 120 on the Harvest games. That's because new ones just came out, but I don't have any time left on the clock. All Madden 204 of 204. Most feared, we drilled those two because you can get crazy good players from those feared ones, so I'm happy we did that. Team Diamonds, we completely stacked out. We should get some awesome stuff from that as well. Hispanic Heritage, because I'm not racist. Team of the Week, I didn't do a ton of the Team of the Week, but I did do a lot of it. Um, They're all right. And then Team Captains is actually clutch because you can make your Team Captain really good with those upgrade tokens. So 484,250 coins after 10 hours of gameplay, 108 unopened packs. Hey, you can seriously build a nasty no money spent team. I'm not even kidding. All right, let's get through these. Some of these are going to be absolute dog shit, but some of them are going to be awesome. This is the opt-in pack. It's like if you give EA, I don't know, it's like if you give EA the rights to look at your data or something. It's that first thing you check when you download the game. Oh my God, an AKA player in this? Oh my God. I thought it was going to be one of the 82s. That's clutch. Out of a free game day pack, 89, 82, Mitch Morse. Pretty much everything we get right now is a massive upgrade to this team. So this was from the team of the week solos. It's a fantasy pack, so I can take my choice. It's the 87 overalls. We got 
Britton Brown, Lawrence Cager, Lance McCutcheon, Clay Johnson, Alex Bachman, and Martin Emerson. I'm actually gonna take Lawrence Cager as a backup tight end. This is why you do the all Madden solos. You get 90 overall unauctionable Tony Siragusa. Apologies if I butchered that name. Never heard of this guy, but hey, a 90 overall D tackle. He's a monster actually with 93 block shed. That is like end game stats. 93 block shed is so good. That will be good for so long. So yeah, this Tony Siragusa is incredible. That is such an awesome thing to have for a free player. Additionally, for doing those legend solos, you get the power up player of every single legend. And these sell for a decent amount of coins. Not a ton, but every single time you're going to get anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 coins for these. There's 15 legend solos. Do the math. That's like 50 to 100k. It's pretty badass. I'm just going to sell them, take my poverty ass 3,000 coins and be on my way. AK, welcome pack is Marshawn Lynch, right? Yeah, it is. 82 Marshawn Lynch. Who's actually worth a lot. They let you sell this, don't they? Yeah. A lot's an overstatement, but he's worth something. Gridiron Guardians pack is an 82 Justin Herbert. That's a quick sell. You can't sell him and he's not good enough to use. Hispanic Heritage Welcome Pack gives you the Ted Hendricks. He's actually not bad. I don't know if I'd even... I don't even think you can quick sell me out. This Ted Hendricks is locked to your lineup no matter what. It's actually kind of frustrating. This is a Boom Reward Fantasy Pack, so it's a ton of the 81s. Uh, usually here, I just say take the most expensive one, and I believe the most expensive is Lester Hayes. Oh, you get three. I'll take Lester Hayes, Munoz, and Hilgenberg. Oh my god, you get four? And I'll take Steve Atwater. That is huge. For completing those Team Diamonds, Team Affinities, you get the 87 over overall unsung heroes fantasy pack ironically that animation is even worse on next gen it looks like shit here but it's even worse on next gen see how it glitches at the end uh, but these cards, on the other hand, are very, very good. You get one from every single team. I think my favorite one is Amani Orowarie. He is a nasty corner. And obviously, he's a Detroit Lions. So I'm hoping Amani Orowarie can be like my corner three or corner two. You do get a free Randy Moss from All Madden. And I can take Eric Allen as a team captain. So I can spend zero total coins on corners. And they'd be pretty damn good. If I didn't go him, I'd probably go O-line. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to go O-line instead. I'm going to take Rob Havenstein. Tackles are very expensive. I already have two free corners, so I'll probably just buy one corner. A non-auctionable random 84. Oh, okay. So open for an 87, but Talano Vanga is actually a crazy good strong safety. So if I don't want to spend anything on that, I actually could use him. Harvest Welcome Pack. I believe this is an 84 RG3. It is. He's halfway decent. 84 plus. Anytime it's a plus, you hope you go over the first number. So 87. Hey! You guys have seen me use his Bud Dupree. He's cracked. He's like 86. Yeah, he's 86 speed, 88 excel, 90 power moves, 6'4. He's actually a very good edge rusher. Another 84 plus most feared from those most feared solos. 84 Mercedes Lewis. No worries. I've got a tight end and a backup tight end now. This is Luke Keekley's power up. I don't know if he's worth any more than the other ones. Worth a little bit more. Looks like people are a little more impatient with this one. Here's the free Randy Moss. I know he's only an 86 overall. His speed isn't quite where you'd want it to be at this point in the game, but he is a 6'4 corner. If you use him in zone coverage, he's still really good. I don't personally use the press man cover bullshit meta anyway. I think it's really frustrating and not fun. So he's actually a really good card for me. 82 overall, Dante Culpepper. Week two boom reward players. Jeremy Shockey, Chris McAllister. This is an 88 harvest player pack. Non-auctionable, but I get my choice. I get a pick of the litter. Honestly, this is going to be a very hard decision. A lot of these guys are studs. Usually when I get a free card, I am tempted to go O-line just because I like to pick my positional players. I think Dak is a great option here. I think Fred Warner is a great option too. Wow, Fred Warner is 6'3", 88 speed. This is a rare occasion where I'm going to take a linebacker over Kevin Zeitler. I, I kind of wanted to go Kevin Zeitler, but Fred Warner is very good. I'm going to go Fred Warner. Also, I could give him the Turducken item and actually upgrade him to a 90, so I think that was a good choice. Get 84 Culpepper and 84 Anus Williams for the boom rewards. Culpepper will sell for 9,000 some. Some change. Did I say uh -huh. Anus Williams? I was kidding. It's, it's Aeneas, I believe. Team of the Week 83 overall fantasy pack. Justin Reed Kicker is actually such an incredible free card to get. He's so good. Week five boom reward players. These only get better. So now it's like 83, 83. I won't use either, but they'll both sell for probably over 5,000. Yeah, about 6,000 a piece. These are also really nice cards to have if there's not a lot on the auction house. People get really impatient and will buy these for like very expensive because they want to do the legends upgrades. Garrett Wilson for our 84 plus. I like Garrett Wilson. I was hoping for an 87 there though.
though. Week 10 boom rewards is Keekly and Jerry Rice, who also will sell for a decent amount here, 10,900. Dude, those legend solos are like some of the best. Those are OP. 85 plus team of the week, Melvin Ingram. A game day pack. So this could be anything. Jerome Baker, Roy, Taylor Lewan. Okay, that was very mid. Week four rewards, Ray Nitschke and Herman Moore. An 80 plus harvest player from the harvest solos. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Nellis, darn it. I did pull 93 AJ Brown in one of these once. No, maybe not on the new account. Every card is good, but you'd like to get an 83 plus here. Andrew Beck. The Monster Maker players. Obviously, I can't upgrade these anymore since the uh, most feared stuff isn't in, but that doesn't mean they're bad cards by any means. Chase Claypool is still a big body wide receiver, and Razul Douglas is not bad either, but I am going to go Chase Claypool. If I'm getting another one, it'll be Razul Douglas. If I get all four, then yeah, I get all four. I forgot about that. Completing all the most feared solos gives you all four Monster Maker fantasies. I never did it on my main account. 83 overall, aka fantasy pack. I think the best move here is definitely Okoye. You can go Larry Zonk as your team captain, but Okoye is so good, dude. He's so good. We do have another one of these. So at this point, I just want to go with who's the most expensive. And I believe Megatron is the most expensive. And we've just crossed half a million coins. Not bad at all. 85 plus Danico Autry. 86 plus. Come on, man. You give me some heat right here. We're in business. Ah. Justin Houston, we'll take it. Our first strategy item is a common. 83 overall Jonathan Casillas. The week seven boom rewards, Thomas Davis and Dante Hall. Dorrance Armstrong from Team of the Week, week five. And a very important one, the Team Captain's Fantasy Pack. Zonka's my favorite option. Keyshawn Johnson is very good, but for a budget team, Eric Allen is probably the move. A free, solid corner is like irreplaceable. This Eric Allen, when fully upgraded, which he is now, is actually a monster. He's a 91 overall with 90 speed, 90 excel. He's a little undersized, but his stats are incredible for a free corner. Eric Allen is the move. Week 11 boom rewards are now 85 overalls and you get Jeff Saturday. Ooh, you gotta love that. And these are gonna sell for more because they're 85 overalls. Bailey Zappi! Low key could be my quarterback. I mean, I got by with his silver a couple times. 82 overall, aka fantasy pack. Doesn't really matter. Go Cam Chancellor. This is an 87 plus overall team of the week. Week 9 reward. Ooh, Kirby Joseph. Detroit Lions. That's a really good free safety, too. He's, he's a little small, but Mike Vick, Rod Woodson on the week three boom. Ed Reed and Emmett Smith in week nine. Definitely two guys I'm going to sell. Got the 86 plus overall team of the week, week eight. Unfortunately, with the team of the weeks, I've been getting the overall on the dot every time. 86 plus is an 86. It's a bummer. You could usually get a little better odds with those, but that's okay. This is the 88 overall non auctionable player pack. These are the same players that I got before, like when I had the option for Fred Warner. So before I was saying I took Fred Warner over Kevin Zeitler. It actually looks like I could take both if I'd like to here. And I think I will. Kevin Zeitler is going to be a beast. I've already got a nice right tackle. Now we got a nice right guard as well. Got an elite pack here. I think this is from the field pass. I don't actually remember. But we do get Andre Reed, Chad Muma, Caleb Farley. Nothing else. Another elite pack. Again, I believe these are from the field pass. Jimmy Ward and 85 Seth Joyner. Nice. We're coming down to some of the last of our packs here. Pretty much just the Legends power-up players. Just kind of got to get those all on my bench and uh, ready to go. Kiko Alonso, and I believe our final pack is an 84 overall AKA fantasy pack from the AKA solos. Sweetness, Curse, Air McNair, The Fridge, Shady. The most expensive out of these, I'm pretty sure, is Air McNair. So we're gonna go with him. Oh no, I actually have two more of those. I take it back. Javon Curse, and our actual final pack, same thing. We'll take Sweetness. So we got 550K, a ton of players in our item binder. I'm interested to see what my team's gonna look like if I just just hit generate best lineup. So generate best lineup. Take your guesses. Full no money spent team. Have not touched the auction house a single time yet. Our team overall is an 85. We've got a very solid offensive line. We've got a lot of depth at tight end. Lots of wide receivers, although none of them are particularly good. Nobody I'm too excited about. At halfback, we got Sweetness, Kenneth Walker, and Deion Jackson. Kenneth Walker is actually a player I bought to use for solos and forgot to sell him, but that's okay. On defense, got 87 free safety, Melvin Ingram, Fred Warner, Devin White, Bud Dupree, Mike Edwards from the field pass, Rizul Douglas, Tutal Jones, Javon Hargrave, Tony Siragusa, Dorrance Armstrong, Randy Moss, and Eric Allen. All right, 
right, let's take advantage of the auction house. Let's look at the store. I might actually use some training here. Let's see what we can do. First thing I'd like to do is round out my offensive line. It's okay right now, but we're a little lopsided. We'll take 88 overall Frank Ragnow for center. Andres Pete is a great budget option at left guard. And at left tackle, we can get Jonathan Ogden for 53K. So now my offensive line is nasty. One of my absolute favorite halfbacks that just got put in this game is this Travis Etienne. He's 92 speed, 90 excel, and he gets evasive for two AP. He is pretty expensive, but this is someone I'm willing to go big on. And low key, I'm actually going to keep Bailey Zappi in because Bailey Zappi is actually not bad at all. For me to really want to get a new quarterback, I'd have to spend like half a mil. 86 Bailey Zappi will get the job done just as well as Fitzmagic or Drew Bledsoe. All right, so now we're at 86 overall. We've got this 88 overall amazing O-line, except for having seen who's an 87. Tight ends, wide receivers. Definitely got to upgrade wide receivers. Love my hatbacks. I'd like a Koye starting at fullback. Defensively, I've got a great user. I should pick up another strong safety to use as my user strong safety and nickel. That will be pretty important. My corners are okay. Razul Douglas probably needs an upgrade. So let's get a corner and a strong safety. And I actually think this defense will be great. After that, we're going to quick sell everything else. You could manually sell all your additional players. It is smarter to do that. You will get more coins for it. But to me, that's like another two hour process. It's very tedious. I don't like it. So I like to just quick sell them all and take my chances. Cameron Dantzler team of the week is 88 speed, six foot two. It's only 50K. That's an awesome corner to pick up. And strong safety. I'm going to want an absolute monster because this is going to be my user. Strong safeties are expensive, but I can get Bam Bam Cam, a 6'3", 89 speed user who also gets Avalanche if I choose to use it for 140K. So I'm down to 66K, but I haven't quick sold a ton of additional players on the bench. So we're really just getting started right now. This lineup's looking good. I do think Randy Moss is better than Razul Douglas. It's a little bit slower. He jumps higher and he's a lot bigger. I am going to use Randy Moss instead of Razul Douglas. So starting with my gold players, I'm going to sell everything that's not in the lineup. All right, so quick selling all the bums is going to give us 22,000 training. That's actually a lot. A couple more players sold as well, so we're up to 80K. So 22,000 training, obviously we can get players' abilities and X factors, but there's also some very strong packs in the store that are limited per account that you can buy with training. For example, there's the 89 plus overall AKA player. You only get one. But if I were to pull a 92 or 93, that is going to be crazy coins. If I pull an 89, or 90. Yeah, that's gonna suck, but it'll still be worth a lot. So I basically converted all my training into a little gamble here on this pack. Let's see what we can get. We need a 90 plus to clutch us up. 90 plus! 91! Full AKA means... Oh, that's huge! Now, we could use him on our team, but I'm telling you, Tony Siragusa is amazing. We're gonna get 160... Oh, what a huge pull. It looks like I could definitely sell him for more than this, but I'd like him to sell within me recording right now, so I'm gonna go a little low here. But that's awesome and I still got 6,600 training. I'm gonna use the rest of this training on my team. And if there's anything left over, we'll use it. All right, we got 228K. I think the holes in our team right now. Melvin Ingram isn't great, but really just wide receivers. Wide receivers and Bailey Zappi. I think we just spend the whole thing on a monster wide receiver. I think AJ Brown's like 400K, so I can't get him, but there's gotta be just a demon wide receiver I can get for 228K, right? Like a number one beast guy that we can count on every time. I like that CD Lamb. I could get Megatron. You know, I'm actually, I'm gonna rock with the CD Lamb because I've never used him. I have used Megatron before. Megatron's probably the best option, but I don't want to do it. 145k for CD Lamb means I can still buy something else for 83k. You know what I might just buy? I might just buy the upgraded Okoye. No, let's get an outside linebacker. Let's get a better right outside linebacker. Melvin Ingram is kind of mid. No lie. And with 83,000 coins, we can pick up. Ooh, I like Derek Brooks. I like Lawrence Taylor a lot better. Honestly, I get Lawrence Taylor so much, but that's because he's so good. Actually, no, I'm gonna go Kayvon Thibodeau. Go oh, Kayvon Thibodeau. Guy's a fucking beast. 8,000 coins and 4,000 training left over. Our team is built. So wide receiver one becomes 90 overall, 90 speed, six foot two. C.D. Lamb. Wide receiver two, I'm gonna go chase Claypool because he's actually faster and bigger than Garrett Wilson. Ooh, and C.D. Lamb took us up to an 87 overall. That is amazing. We're not even done yet because I still gotta take Melvin Ingram out for Kayvon Thibodeau who is faster. 10 more excel, 10 more strength. Way better. It's finally complete. Our team building is all done. This has been a blast to do. But 10 hours is a lot of time, but we didn't spend any money. That's like one Sunday. All right, if you're really bored on on a Saturday or Sunday, you really have no hoes, no texts, no friends, bro. You could rep out a good 10 hours.
And I very much hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, please let me know. I could do it in five hours. I could do it in one hour. If you guys like it, just let me know. But let's hop into some games. Primetime JC. Whoa. I don't think it was glitching bad, but he's got the 95 primetime. That's legit. Nice ball. Oh, he's got Claypool too. Nice. Dude, this guy's got a laser on him. Whoa. Oh. And we're there. Oh, but I got ran over by Etienne. One more run play. Underneath to the half. <laughs> I'm going to go half back just like he was. There goes Etienne. Good start. Zappy, one for one, six yards. Ooh, it's there. Great blocking. Hard cut over to the middle. Etienne starting out hot beautiful lawrence cager first i've heard of him but happy to use him okay so etienne is wide open he sent the blitz a little unsuccessful oh nasty move hard cut the cpu juked the user or maybe it's the other way around i don't know look at that three yards not bad just gonna go verts out of this i'll send etienne out to the right oh that's a tutty that's a tutty lawrence cager let's go great work gentlemen blocks are looking good Ooh. Damn. I ran that a little weird. Seven to six. Tough. I don't run a lot of man blitzes, so I don't know if I really trust this, but I'm going to try it. Halfback. Damn. Nice D. Once again, a super quick pass. Third and three. Oh, oh no. Guy throws just the quickest little laser beams, but it's working. Oh my God. How did he hit that window? Nice job. No, oh, and I missed. Damn, man. We got time. Nothing stupid. Beautiful pass. Juke left. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone dive that hard and whiff that bad. That was awesome. Oh my God. Was that open? That X button was open. Oh shit, 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 shit. I thought I'd get that throwaway off, but I did not. Kind of just got to airmail one of these puppies. There's Cager, but the user. Oh, that was Mercedes Lewis. That wasn't even Cager. Great ball. That just made our field goal a little bit easier. That was smart. That made our field goal easier. Oh, wait a minute. It's 44 yards, so I don't get focus kicker. Oh, wait, I do? What? I, I definitely did the one on 45 yards or deeper, and it gave me it for that, and that was 44. Whatever. All right, opening drive. Zappy has played great football so far. Let's just keep it up. Is that even open? <laughs> Nasty catch. Dude, did you see that alignment? He was just lined up so weird there. All right, now he's in press. Oh, I think Lamb got him. I think Lamb got him. Oh, CD Lamb. The fucking beast. It ended up being a massive pick. We spent 150K on him. It's paying off. We've got a one point lead right now. I'm trying to make that a seven point lead. All right, Zappy can roll. Does he make that throw? Oh my God. Oh my God. Bailey Zappy 360 fucking rifle. And he threw such a bad ball that the user couldn't pick it off, but Travis Etienne could get to it. That was fucking so lucky. He keeps throwing it mega quick, but he's throwing into tight windows. Oh, we're there. Dude. Well, that's just stupid. Because we were totally there. Oh, uh, nice move. Claypool. Dude, he's going to score effortlessly again. Hopefully, we can hold him down here. <sighs> Dude, that same thing again. What are these animations? Oh, my God. What? I accidentally switched on to the guy that was about to sack Justin Fields, and I jumped. I deserve that. That sucked. Onside kick. Maybe he's scared of me chewing the clock. He might have gotten that. Wow, he picked that up without it going out of bounds. That's some true Madden cheese right there, dude. Lol. I've never seen someone get so lucky with their animations. What even was that? Damn. CD Lamb. Beauty, but can you get there? Fourth down. Fourth and three. Gonna need a big one right here. Lawrence Cager is gonna come up clutch on fourth down. That was a little bit too easy when I saw his user over there. Beautiful play, though. There's Cager again. Oh, that's Mercedes Lewis. Gets a stiff arm. We're about to score. Bailey Zappi is fucking electric right now. Playing so good. All these motions just to throw Cager again. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that because that burned a lot of clock. That was an accident. But the only reason this guy's winning is because he's fucking onside kick. What a little bitch, but whatever. Could definitely be a pass. <gasps> Horrible pass. Bam, bam. Oh, I think he got that. Fourth and one. He's going to come out and QB sneak. You know this guy. Come on, man. Fourth and one. Play of the game. Oh, wow. We got the block shed with Siragusa too, but he got around it. Damn. That is not a mistake. That is a very good play. Damn. It's actually kind of nice. He went too far. Yeah, he should have only gone 10 yards. He can't get another first down now. And if I can stop him for a field goal? Let's just see what happens here. 
That's actually not optimal for him, what he just did. Not at all. Oh my god, pick it! What? I don't even care. Because he's fucked this up so bad now. He has? He has to score a touchdown. Let's go, bam, bam! Rocked! Fourth and eight. I have one timeout left. It's fourth and eight. I'd probably go for it if I'm him. If he scores a touchdown, it's game. If I stop him, I've got a shot. He just, he just fucking threw it to nobody. I've got the ball on the nine, minute 12. One timeout. CeeDee Lamb, easy yards. Let's go no huddle. Oh my God, I think Etienne just burned him. Oh my God, Etienne! Travis, Etienne! Talking all that shit. Let's go. This little bitch was showboating too. Showboating with Etienne on that lucky ass animation. Now it's 27 to 31. Gotta keep him out of the end zone for 37 seconds. Let's fucking go, boys. He does have three timeouts. This game is not over. No way. Oh, that's no good. That sucks. Damn. Damn, really good first throw. Damn, he did that so fast. That's fine if we keep him in bounds. Trash play. He's not calling a timeout? Are you a psycho? What? What are you doing? What are these play calls? He's in five wide. I assume he goes Casper. Holy shit, you're ass. What the fuck are you calling? I got Hail Mary on in that wheel of mud though, so let's not take this for granted. This guy's a fucking bozo, dude. He's at, he's so unbelievably tilted. Tilted out of his mind. What a loser. Tell me why Bailey Zappi had a perfect QBR. 16 for 19, 305, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. Tell me why. Justin Fields had a great game too. His Etienne was solid, but my Etienne receiving was a fucking god. Five for 111 and the biggest touchdown of the game. Dude, and CeeDee Lamb was incredible too. Four for 95 and a touchdown. That was an awesome game. That was so awesome. Oh, what a game, boys. That was so awesome. All right, gentlemen. Massive W, one of the coolest Ws of all time. So for those of you who watched this and got to the gameplay, you just got blessed with an amazing game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching as always. Peace.